And so Annie invites us to think about how we view trauma, brokenness, injury from a wolf perspective. What if our trauma or something that, that could feel broken or perceived that way as human, what if that illuminates our true spirit? What if that illuminates, I'm a warrior, you know, I'm resilient, I'm whoever I really am in here. It's an opportunity for that to shine. Brian, first of all, just I'm so inspired by hearing all of all the voices, especially the young ones. You're all so wise hearing your reflections, and I know the sacrifices you made to be here today, and and what Scarlett went through today. Just you guys all all inspire me. Uh, I I had a moment when you were discussing the Alpha and the Omega, and how the, the nannies in the uh, uh, group, you know, uh, help create their, you know, let them find themselves in their own natural environment. And it really made me reflect, you know, um, being adopted, you, you kind of learn the ways of a new pack. And I felt uh, growing up, you know, I really had to fight and really find my way what was my natural environment. And so it made me reflect a lot about that. And then I see it now as, as a parent, how I can um, uh, uh, help, you know, my, my own daughters thrive in their natural environment and help them find themselves and, you know, what their role is, you know. And, uh, thank you for being here on the walls. Uh, I'm taking away a warrior mindset from uh, my experience here. I had a really great time today, and I really, really love the wolves, and you guys make me happy. <laughs> well, I think for me, part of this was from the time I met, excuse me, you at the gate, and then when I met you, that kind of eased, you know, my fears of being here. Um, Thank you for all the people who brought the youngsters because you know that's what this is about. Like like the wolves, you know, building the packs, bonding, creating connection and relationships. Um, thank you for, for doing that. Um, it's just it's an awesome awesome experience. Thank you.